Hey everyone, welcome back to Coinaz. For 1980, US Mint struck over 593 million examples of Jefferson nickels in Philadelphia. 75% copper, 25% nickel coins, with most of weak strike on reverse. There are quite a few specimens that miss day 67 with full steps on reverse. That year means struck many error coins as well, like this one I'm holding, with slightly off-center struck and double dream of verse. This railroad on western rim can be seen with naked eye. It is circulated specimen with heavily abraded and gold surfaces. Comes with flam flows and weak strike on reverse. Steps are completely flat, just like several elements of Monticello. Overall eye appeal is average. Also, it bears a mint error, misalignment is not that big, to make it worth good money. Therefore, this coin is worth just a nickel. What I would like to show you is this extremely valuable error nickel from 1980. Jefferson nickel with 30% misalignment and struck on a cent planchet instead of nickel. Gray that means they 64 red and brown by PCGS. Wild love center toward 1030 with most in God we trust liberty and the country name absent. The date and mint mark are fully present. These wrong planchet mint error is mostly orange gold but displays delia red on Jefferson color. Sold on August 12, 2016 for $2702.50. Or another specimen at missed a 63 red, struck 20% off center on a cent planchet. Struck off center toward 10 o'clock with full date and mint mark. A lustrous orange gold piece that shows expected softness on Monticello, since the flam was undersized relative to dyes. The scent planchet appears to be type 1 without a raised dream. Sold on March 29, 2009 for $1840 at Heritage Auctions.